all my life, all my life, I like to use the expression or hear it. Ronnie, you're driving me crazy. I'm pulling out my hair. I says, Dad, I says, Dad, I said, stop pulling. Stop pulling. So uh, Anna sent me a little thing on number nine this morning. So I started watching number nine. And um, it, it got to, to, to me thinking, to thinking, what is the base? What is base? Base is actually this paper. You can't get any primary than this paper. Additions will show you divisions between four boxes. A minus sign will show you above and below. A minus sign, like this one, says do not enter when there's a bar here or push the bar forward and will count that you're in. Don't go under the bar and don't jump over the bar. If you jump over the bar, you are a hue, Erdell, because language, as well as letters, have come in by action. Everything is coming by action, okay? You like my spaceship, the Volkswagen Beetle? We spoke about that last time. So it's all about the action. Now, of course, I'm, I'm looking for another piece of paper. I, I mean, I've got junk all over the place. But look at my desk. Look at my desk, Ronnie. What are you doing? You've got junk all over the place. you got junk all over the place, you know. So... Um, I still can't find um, what I was looking for. Let me, let me look a little bit harder. Ah, found it. Building. Where do I get my D? Where do I get my V? Where do I get my 1 or my I? Why do I have this thick bar above and the thick bar below? Why? Okay. Inside some letters like C. Do I find my T or my bridge? Why? Inside, we're inside this design. What is that design? Well, it's plain and simple. It's plain and simple. You can see what this design is, right? It goes all the way down this way, all the way over here. So obviously, it's the N letter, right? You've got one there, and you've got one here. What is actually A? What is A? Does anybody know what A is? I don't know. This certainly looks like A to me. But A is more than what we think. So let's go on to the nine box because we either have one, we have four, we have nine. And what's the next number after nine? Is seven. That's correct. Okay. What's the number after seven? Okay. It's seven again. What's the number after that? It's one. What's the number after that? It's nine. What's the number after that? It's actually um, zero. Well, we're going to explain to you why. I have one square, and I added on life. Three more squares to create the four square. Or... If you really want, we are going to add on a little bit more life. Now I've got one, I've got four, I've got nine. But what actually did I add on? I added one and three and five. Letter A, letter C, and letter E. But I don't even need to say E because it's CE. Right in number three is CE. It automatically shows that there's a crossing box over here, creating this area. Automatically, we have the star created by number four. So now we have the one box, then we have the four box, then we have the nine box. One, four, nine. Now, where do we get the seven? Well, one by one equals to one. One plus one equals to one, equals to two. One and two. We've got alpha and beta all along the lines, what we share is the beta. We share the alpha of the beta because we share part of each other going over the lines, but that's not good enough. So I go two by two equals four. And then I go three by three equals nine. Two plus two equals four. Three plus three equals six. So we know that the stargate of addition and multiplication 
will cause this effect. The 22.5 angle, okay, which is 9 times 25, okay, this angle over here is the greatest angle because it divides this. That is your 22. This is your 90. This is your 45. Sorry, this is your 22. But the question is, is it from here to here? Or is the same distance from there to there the same distance as here to here? All questions. So now we're going to question where the diamond comes in or how about one of our favorite little animals. You know what I'm saying? Where we get the nose. The nose comes because how we get connected, right? Anybody in for a little bit of badminton, right? Because with all that netting over here, catching the incoming flux of spirit. So we got three by three, nine and six equals to 15 and 54. Four and four equals to eight and 16, okay? Now we're gonna go to the next level. Five by five equals to 25. 5 plus 5 equals to 10. Don't forget, we didn't do the minus. 8 and 16 is 24, the 24 day of man and 8 heaven. Here we have the 1554. We have the 1554. The 54 gets added, it becomes 69, and it becomes 39. And you have rotation in the Saturn sky, in the heavens of the cat, 2 and 4, 5 to 9. This will create the time clock, E-I-E-I-O. Cat, five, and nine all have the same count, 42. It's either eight times three or seven times six, both equal to the same two numbers. Eight and three reverse to the seven worlds equals to plus and minus one and plus four. That will create your DNA. This one will create one and four again. They both create the same thing. Seven plus six is 13. One and three is four. So now we're going on to the next level. We're going to go to 8. 8 times 8, 8 plus 8, which everybody knows that 8 is a power of 2. This equals to 64, and this equals to 16, and 64 equals to 80. We're not going to multiply it, but if we do multiply it, 6 plus 4 equals to 1. 6 plus 1 equals to 7. We have 1 and 7, which equals to 8 and 7, division of the gateway, 8 and 8, because it's 2 to the power of 3. And now we have the gateway. Now we're going to show you where we got these numbers from. Well, if I have a box one by one, I have one single box. If I have two by two, I have four, and I got four boxes. I got three by three, I got nine. Number one became the center of all. If I go four by four, I got 16. One and six is seven. Five by five is 25. Two and five is seven. Okay, six by six is 36. I must have made a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six by six is 36. Okay, three and six is nine. I must have made a mistake in here, which is very good we go over. Seven by seven is 49. Now, seven by seven is 49. Four and nine is four. We have to do this again. We have to do... 4 by 4, 5 by 5, 6 by 6, 7 by 7, 8 by 8, 9 by 9, okay? 1 by 1, 2 by 2, 3 by 3. This equals to 1, 4, 7, 7, 9, 4, 1, uh, 1, 9. And that's what the answer to this is. Now, if you want to go to 10, 10 by 10 is 100. Okay, 100 becomes 1. And remember, 0, 0 equals 6 equals to 12, right? 100, 0, 0 equals to 6, 6 and 6. Or if it was 4, remember, there's two things to remember. What is 0? Is it the four corners towards the center? Or is it the four corners towards the center? How do we measure the distances, right? Everything is something different. So what we're going to actually do is say it's because we run in half-lives, right? In half-lives. But we must start the first half-life this way, right? And then the other half-life this way. Either they clamp where this part over here is missing the top, 
sorry, this part over here is missing the top. This piece is missing the bottom. And they they clip to, how can I? They, they, you see, lower, higher, I move them in, they don't move fart. I can't move this way, right? I can move this way, this way. So I lock, and I lock, and I can't go out, and I can't go out. I can't, you see, this one wants to go this way, but my thumb stops it. This one wants to go this way, and my thumb stops it, so I can't go anywhere, right? And then you put a bolt here and a bolt here. So what we're going to do is we're, we're just not going to talk about this anymore, right? We're going to leave this alone. And we have 9 by 9. 10 by 10 is 100. Like I said, all zeros equal to 6, right? But we're living in half-lives, okay? We're living in half-lives. That's why I'm using 6. Otherwise, I'd be using 4. Let's say it was linear. I'd go 1, 2, 3, 4. Boom. And wow, look at that. I now have 6. Obligation for 6. Obligation for 6, the half-life. Otherwise, it would be perfect, and all I would have to use is four. Four makes it larger. Six makes it smaller. One and a half times six, the number to Mars, or sorry, one and a half times four um, equals to six. So then one and a half times six equals to nine. So now we end up with nine. Ten by ten, all six equals, all zeros equals six. We can do it to four. Four would be the heaven, right? If it would be four, we'd have four and four equals to eight. 4 by 4 is 16, 1 and 6 is 7. If it was equal to 6, 6 and 6 is 12 equals to 3. 6 times 6 is 36 equals to 9, 7, 9, the gateway to birth. 8 by 3 is 24, the church, C and H, it would be the red sun. And 11, this will be 63 and 16. If we minus it, we get 5 and we get uh, 39. And that is the skies of the E world three five and nine E I E I O. And we're in Saturn sky, C L. Wow, this video is longer than I thought. So we're gonna make it go quicker. So all twelves, right? This is one hundred zero zero, right? But what if we don't do it that way? Ten times ten is one hundred. What if we do it sixteen times sixteen and do it right away that way? But sixteen and sixteen would become seven again. Seven and seven will go back to four. So this number can be either one, or this number can be four. Or this number can be seven. One, four, seven, three levels of reality. Why the seven by seven is 49, four plus nine is 13, one and three is four. The original number of one, all zeros equals six, 10 equals to 16 equals to seven. So now we're 11 by 11 is 121, it equals to four. 12 by 12 is 144 equals to nine. 13 by 13 equals to 169, um, equals to one and six and nine equals to seven. Uh, 14 and 14 equals to, uh, 196. 13 times 13 equals to 169. 14 times 14 equals to 196. 169, 13 by 13, 14 by 14, 190. Uh, six. The difference of that is uh, 27, and that's red or when a big red sun, the separation for the red sun. So now we have all over here, 15 by 15, 15 by 15 equals to 225, which is also nine times 25 equals to 225. That's your quarter ratio, 9766. So we're going to leave that out right now. We're going to go back over here, and this is the numbers we get. We get 16 by 16, right after this 9 over here, right after 10, right after 10, we're 11, 11 by 11, by 11 equals 121, 10 by 10 equals 100, we're going to do 16. 16 times 16 equals to 256, that's your first part of memory. 256 and 121, the difference for your memory is 135, A, C, E. You want to do a difference, you can say it's 133. Don't count the top or the bottom, but count one of them because one of them has to connect. The one you're holding is your hand, and the one you're connecting is 134, and that says ACDC. The last part about this video, okay, is what happens when we go up and down Gematria and this number over here. So we're going to talk about seven, how seven fits into nine, and why, because. One and two 
is played up over here in this area. Did I do that right? One and two is played up right over here in this area. This area becomes one and two because the one becomes the center. One, two, three, four. One, two. Let me, let me see this again. Do we have one, two, three, four? How come I'm, miss, I'm missing something here. One, two. Let me, let me count this. One, two, three, four, five. Five areas. Why does this seem I'm up here? One, two, three, four, five areas. The sixth one is in. The sixth one is not in here. Why is it in here? Oh, because I just put the six in the wrong. I made the wrong uh, boxes. I have to redo it this way, where this becomes... You see, seven is in this whole box. It takes four areas to complete a box. That would give me 28, 24, uh, 20, uh, 16, 9. And those are the numbers it would give me. And uh, 13 and 14, because they're the same M and N, and it's inside the word man. And the reverse of the 13th letter is the 14th letter because it's 17. It's M and N. It equals to 4 and 5, and that is the number into the sun, and it is orange and green. 1 times 4 equals to your DNA. 3 times 1 and 3 plus 1 equals to your 7. 7 and 9 come together, 63 moons creating your DNA and your electric. 1, 3, 4, 5 is inside the sun. It's the sun fox. Why do I use the word fox? Because we have to think of the cunning fox. So we just have to use the word Q. N, N, I, N, G, the ring, put the ring, Q in the ring, N and N is actually saying 66, N, and N, okay, it's either saying, right, backwards in Russia, they're saying it, Russia says 66, USA says 44, 110, 1010, Another thing I want to mention is that when we're counting up so high, 13 by 13, everybody says it's 169. But is it really? Because what happens if we just keep putting 13 numbers down this way? 13 threes, okay? 13 threes equals to 39. 13 ones equals to 13. We now have four and three, we get DC. Instead of 169, we now get DC. Instead of 16, instead of uh, 14, Going 14 times, I just go 14 equals to 56 and 14. I now get 5 and 2. I get DC Earth. I bring it to the 9 world, I get 5 and 6. I bring it to the 9 world, I get 4 and 7. Inside the cycle, put me on base, the spirit, bring me into the sun. 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 3, 4, 5. Everything comes together. 77 comes together. 22 comes together. 7, 2, Two seven, two seven seven, two into the seventh gate is five zero zero five. Anyways, I'm not going to take it on from any more. Uh, there is still another piece I have to do. I uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, I'm a little yellow face on one side. Some people call me boring. My videos aren't this and that and everything else. But guess what? The greatest thing, the greatest element I have is that the occupation of my own personal mind and the benefit of the feeling I get from, from as few as I can say many and many as I can say few from those who are still watching my video into the year 2016 finished, started in 2010, I will actually be with you and think that um, I also thought I was nuts. I wanted to hide. I wasn't sure what bad things I was going to say. When you're on that bipolar trip, which means you have a greater belief, the greater belief you have is a personal greater belief, so great that because once you feel attached to that, your own reality system in which you believe is so high that no one will ever change my mind unless they show me factuals. But the factual is, the only way to actually bring the relativity of the theory of the, re of the truth is to base everything on what they've already done. Did Einstein exist? 
I guess he did. Did he have a theory of relativity and did he build one of those bombs? No, he didn't build a bomb. He built a structure for the understanding of how to build the bomb. Did he build the bomb, the end result? I don't know. I do know what everything I read. I read it, someone said it, somebody else read it, somebody wrote it. Somebody wrote what somebody said and somebody said and wrote the same book. But then a machine wrote it and somebody read it. And they brought out the thesaurus and they brought out games. You ever play Monopoly? Boardwalk and Park Place. I mean, the, the furthest, what is the furthest property from go? And it's easy. Because after you go, right, you start on the Mediterranean. You ever start in the starting piece and you start to count? You start from outside the world or you start from inside the world. Either you're in the world or out. So man started on day one. So forget about day one. He started nothing because man was created on day one. Day one doesn't exist. When man comes back to day one, it was like he just got here. So it's actually an eighth day. We need that eighth day to actually represent, okay, the connection and the law. Games. One, two, three, four, five, six. Who built the calculator? Well, look. Between seven and nine. One and one. Seven to eight, eight to nine. But nine can't drop down. Nine drops down, it goes to three. Oh, no. Why? Because when you go from the ceiling to the floor, you can walk anywhere you want in the room, but you're going from the ceiling to the floor. One floor, two floors. What if we had 110 floors here? This number would say what? This would say 990. 990. What were the numbers in the tower? 977 is a radio station. It's a vibration bought out by the pigs. What is 11? 11 is the same as 66 and 99. Those who are running Jupiter. Jupiter seems to be the operational phenomenon of the whole thing. The planetary system that actually really doesn't exist at all. There is no planets and there is no sun and uh, sun the way we know it. And there is nothing of what you think there is. But it could be. Because right now there is. Because you believe what you see is real. Because that's what you know. That's what you learn. It makes sense. It's relative to me. Because it is. Tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe. See my wall? All tic-tac-toes. I squared in the circle. I kept sliding off. I didn't want to fall down, okay? I'm just... Okay, so you have to understand this... Just... Just everything that they have given to me, my reality and creation, why I highly believe in everything that I do, is because of what you, the world of creation that is put before my eyes, that of what I have seen, of what I have repeated, of what everybody else has done, I'm just a comedian. I am the medium of connecting the joke between everything playing with words, but this medium is all truth. We haven't even hit weights and measures. We haven't even touched the element scale. I haven't even went high in glory into the rainbow and the measurements of all the other planets and moons because they're all codes. It's all coded, and oh my God, guess what? <laughs> Some of it wasn't on purpose. It just wasn't, but it came out. It just came out that way that the Earth, someone told me, that every 28 days, there's a moon that goes around. Sometimes it shows up before it takes a peak. It gets a little hot up there. And the moon cycle of 28 days, 13 times, 13 times a year, is one more than 12. And we've added on a strand, telling me that the strand is automatically a minimum of three. Serrated ages at the end. So that three take away two because we have two imperfect pieces because of the serrades. So we actually have one holding on to two ends, thinking that it's one and all, when it's three, when it's one, when it's nothing, when it's not connected to another. I got a lot of bolts, but I don't need to use them. And I never will. I just know I got them on reserve. Case one breaks. Well, that I don't need, but it's on reserve, and I can't count it, but I got to count it in inventory. The invitation, the inventory of the mind. Raphael, 72, my hand to you. My hat's off to you. Isn't it funny? I take my hat off. My hat's off to you. Getting into the boxing ring. Boop, 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 boop. 
Raphael coming to you from the House of Paint 2016 and 6,000, close to 6,000 videos later. From thinking I'm not sure but believing in who and what I was doing to ever most and more uh, my own happiness because of this and I need, I want, I need that energy to compel me so I don't believe it'll ever fall but when you're digging in the same hole and going nowhere it ain't fun. But I've got tons, tons of artwork and little pictures and big pictures that I can turn into designs that have been turned into designs. I have over 600 designs on clothing online although for me it's permished and a pitchka and a pachka, and I don't really like that. It's not me. I want it all in order. I need a good secretary. I need someone who's who helps me with my own personal guidance. You know that because that's what I believe. And they say, okay, today, and we have to make sure. I have to make sure that I'm advancing every day, so I can't have somebody saying, don't do this or do that. I need just them to put in a file order that not only they can find it, but I want to find it too. In fact, I want to be so dumb that I fall on the floor and I find a piece of paper that tells me what everything is. All I have to know is what I want. What am I looking for? In order to find, you must look. And I'm looking on my wall right now and I see two, five, three. I'm not sure what number it is. But as it works up the scale. I don't know if you can see it. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where, oh, yeah, it's over here, right? Over. Hmm. How did I lose that? It's over here. Oh, see the light? I don't see that light, okay? My camera picks up that light, but I don't see it. I only see my, all my paint is shining really bright. And instead of that, you are getting just that color. Isn't that amazing? But it's in that hidden area. Isn't that just amazing? Raphael, another brick on the wall. Thank you for watching.